which will all sound probably like they're, you've heard them before, ripped from the headlines, but let's get these guys on, put on the spot. They're all pro athletes, and let's talk about this. Number one, you're an adult watching or attending a high school basketball game between two rival high schools. The game is close. A lot is riding on the outcome of the game. During the course of the action, you notice that a group of high school students begin to start shouting less than flattering comments, not only towards the referees, but also towards the players of the other, of the other team. The comments get even worse after there is a close and a very debatable call is made late in the game. And in the second half, as a matter of fact, as the opposing players are fouled and they go up to the free throw line, just as the place gets a little quiet and the, the players begin to focus on their, their, their free throw, the rowdy high school spectators become extremely loud and obnoxious to try and distract the shooter. Now, as a spectator, do you step up and say something to these obnoxious high school students? Or these days, because of what you see on television at pro games and college games, is this kind of rowdiness just to be considered part of the game and is accepted? Now this has happened all too much. Christy, I'll start with you. I'll put you on the hot seat first. <laughs> what do you do? Honestly, where I am right now with my life, I would say something now. I think. Uh, oh, uh, stop right there. Say something now. What does yeah. that mean? Well, I think that uh, at, at different points in my life, I probably, as a competitor, while I was playing, I probably would look at it as, oh, no big deal. Just get over it. Everybody, you know, gets some. A little bit from the crowd here and there right um, but now as a, an adult and a coach and a mentor I, I kind of look at the situation a little bit different as in terms of I need to impact what's what's happening directly so you would basically go over to let's say the spectators who are obviously rallying and trying they think they're supporting their team yeah and you would say guys gals chill stop this yeah we, we actually had a, a similar scenario not to the extent uh, but recently at, with our high school where our our boys soccer team was was cheering us on very well but it, it got a little bit uh, too rowdy at times we actually had one of the uh, girls just kind of go over and casually say guys it's, it's awesome for you to cheer but just you know keep it keep it good did it have any impact um I don't know. <laughs> I, I think, uh, you know, it, it's funny because with, with them, the, the girls, even our girls were getting a bit riled up at the fact that the boys were yelling, but they were trying to support them. And I think it, uh, by just asking them to calm down just a little bit, it kind of helped us as well. So. Okay, all right. Devon, what about you? Uh, honestly, immersing myself in that situation, I'd probably be the guy that would just try to get the chance going the other way. <laughs> uh, not, not anything bad. Like obviously, uh, I would be against uh, you know if they're saying anything that's you know outlandishly disrespectful. But I, I'm putting myself in a high school environment, and like if I were to go back to my old high school and we're playing our rival rival team, I know how how that can get and. And uh, you know that as a player, that always excited me uh, when I was in those in those moments. So I think you know that just makes the environment funner. So as far as you're concerned, although most grown-ups, adults, parents, coaches would say that's really unsportsmanlike to try to distract an opposing player when they're trying to shoot a free throw, but from your experience, that are you saying most players would think that's okay? That's part of the game. During my, I played uh, basketball in high school, and during my experience, those were some of the funnest games I played in, where I felt like it was. It Did was anybody, everybody, wild. I assume you shot some free throws at some point. Did anybody distract you when trying to shoot? You would hear some some crazy things, and like I said, there's there's a line that definitely can't get crossed, you know. But as long as it's you know within within respectable bar uh, barriers, then <laughs> okay, you know, I think that's fair. All right, well that takes up to Bryce. Um, you have to make the decision here. <laughs> who's right who's wrong well I think you know nowadays I think some of the the bantering and some of it is starting to get the borderline where it's getting excessive yeah um, and so I think but usually in those situations that I've seen is that you know either security gets involved right if it's really a lunch or um, or there's some parents that you know step up um, I think you know when I play like I I didn't even hear it. Like I tuned it out, right? Well, so okay. No, so yeah, no, I know. Yeah. And so it's 
So it's part of just the environment, right? And I think to not have that, I think takes away from the overall experience of the game and playing and having the fans engaged, having the players engaged. So as long as it's, um, you know, within the boundaries, I think uh, it's, it's absolutely necessary. And then when it crosses the, the line, then, you know, if I was in the stands now, now that I have kids, yeah. I would say so. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, first of all, I, I, it, it, this, is, this is always puts the parents in the stands and the teachers and the, and the faculty and, and everybody on edge because you don't know what you, at what point does it cross the line. And as you guys have all said, you're actually playing. If you're actually in the game and you're, you're focused on the task at hand, chances are you're not even hearing the crowd. You're not even aware of what's going on. But Bryce, you have kids. It gets a little different if you're watching your kids play and you're in the stands and you see the other team trying to distract your kids. How would you react to that? Well, I think it, I think it, from what I've seen now, I'm getting actively involved in youth hockey, um, you know, with my, with my seven-year-old. And just from when I played to, you know, to 2016, um, the crowds have changed, right? And what's acceptable to, you know, what people say and how they interact is, you know, is now a lot more acceptable. Whereas if I, you know, said some things, you know, my dad would, you know, give me a quick little smack or something, right? Like, hey, <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful, right? But society has, you know, changed where a lot of this stuff is acceptable. So it's just, you know, it's, uh, I hate to say, hey, I'm, I'm that old man in the room, um, but but I think it's, it's transferring over into sports in the sense where, you're now having kids, you know, because either it's the parents or their older siblings that are, you know, really engaging this type of, you know, uh, culture that it's then, at least in hockey, transferred onto uh, the ice where you have seven year olds that are going out there trying to hurt people. Right? So, seven where, yeah, seven year olds where they're like, get that guy, get that guy, right? And so, um, you know, not to go on and on, but I've seen a trend now that I'm, you know, in a different role. All right. Uh, let me just pause for a second. Anybody want to come up to the audience about this? Anybody any thoughts about this? Anybody ex experiences? No? Anybody? Come on. I think it's, it's hard to be a parent in that situation um, because I, I totally agree with you that, that there's a line and it's fun to have everybody in a hockey rink yelling or whatever, but the there is a line, and when it becomes personal, that tends to be a line of what you're taking. But as a parent, the parents are worse in the stands yelling at each other than the kids are, I have to say. So from a parent standpoint, I would, if I had the opportunity to talk to somebody I knew, that might be one thing, but going to the security guard, of which there are in every sport now where there's a, somebody is, that the personal thing is, well, there's no, there's, if you want to cause a fight, uh, any kind of youth or high school event, all it takes is one parent to start basically blistering one of the kids, not their kid, somebody else's kid, on the basketball court, on the soccer uh, pitch, on, on, on the ice, and that's going to immediately erupt in some sort of uh, an altercation because that's how crazy it's become. That didn't happen, you know, a generation ago. Now it's become unfortunately routine. Um, it is a problem. All right, that was, but that was an easy one.